Yo, yo. Through the lights, cameras in action, glamour, glitters and gold. I unfold the scroll, plant seeds to stampede the globe when I'm deceased. But in the beast, the rise like yeast. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another beer from Monkish, Torrance, California. Uh, this is Unfold the Scroll. This essentially is the triple dry hopped version of Stampede the Globe. 100% citra hopped, double IPA, 8.3%. Um, they did Stampede the Globe, is that two years ago? I think it was, was it two years ago? A year and a half ago, somewhere around there. Um, and then the double dry hop version of Stampede the Globe was Glamour Glitters and Gold. And now the triple dry hop version is Unfold the Scroll. So uh, I love these crazy over the top triple dry hop beers that Monkish does. Um, so yeah, I'm stoked for this one. Citra was the first hop I ever fell in love with. I think if you guys have been watching my reviews for a while, you know that. Um, if you're new, welcome. I fell in love with Citra. That was the first hop I ever really, really loved. So uh, this was canned on June 13th and it says, let's say Tom, I can't read what that says, Tom Life, I think. Um, so time recording, this is 17 days old. So two and a half weeks old. Big thanks to my man, my Monkish BFF, Craig, for hooking this one up. We're gonna use our orange Monkish Tiku glass because Henry loves the Giants and he made a glass for us Giants fans. And I will forever drink Monkish beer out of this glass. Go Giants. I can smell that beer already. I'm trying to think of the other triple dry hopped Monkish beers we had. Uh, Beyond Atomically was triple dry hopped. Is there anything else triple dry hopped? I'm sure there was other ones. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, I just, we've talked about it. I'm really into like overly hop saturated beers and Monkish does it really, really well. Um, so yeah, excited to, uh, to check this one out. So uh, it looks like a Monkish beer. It's that super light, hazy <laughs> lemonade, really, really murky. Uh, I don't know, half a finger of like a Rocky Whitehead is dissipating super quickly. Um, this beer's been sitting out for about 10 minutes. It's warm out in the garage today. So it's got that little like chill ring around the glass. It's not that cold, but it's cold enough where you can see where my finger is right here, that little chill ring. But yeah, looks awesome. It looks like a New England style double IPA. So like I said, I mean, I don't really need to shove my nose in it. I can smell it from <laughs> three feet away, but shove our fat nose in it, see what it smells like. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, Citra, if you've ever smelled a really intense Citra beer, it's so, what's the best word for it? It's super citrusy, but it's so herbaceous, like the most fragrant, fresh cut herbs. It's crazy how like herbal smelling this is. Uh, Darwin did a review recently and he said that he could smell, a sh like he was saying, he could smell what he thought a beer was going to, when he thought a beer was going to be astringent. It's not really a smell. I know what he's talking about when he says that. Um, it's not that it burns your nose, but it's got like that super intense. Uh, 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 he said astringency is not a thing that you smell, but I guess when you smell it, you know what you're smelling. This has that, this is so intense. It's like hot pellets in your nose. <clears throat> but it's got like grapefruit peel, it's got orange peel, um, orange juice. It's super, super citrusy. But it's so, I mean, people, we joke about the one guy told me I used the word green wrong. There, it's so much green matter that you're smelling in this. It's crazy how intense <laughs> the aroma of this beer is. It reminds me of those old school Trillium beers that like you would drink that were super, super hopped and like it burned a little bit. This might burn a little bit, we'll see. So let's go and taste it, Craig. Cheers, thanks bro. Fuck, that is ridiculously hoppy. Wow. <laughs> um, I've mentioned before orange juice after you brush your teeth, big time in this, as Domingo says, big time huge in this beer. If, if you're palate sensitive to hops, you might be offended by this beer. This is way, way, way over the top. Think like the most bitter citrus peel, like you bite into an orange or a grapefruit to like start peeling it. And like what the, the, the actual like white part of the peel to even like the outside part of the peel. It is so pithy. It's super, 
like it's not resinous but it's got that intense I don't want to say dank because it's it's not like that weedy kind of a dank thing it's just really really intense herbs it's like I can't get over it, like what that's doing <laughs> to my tongue like I, I'll drink this and by the time I'm done my tongue is gonna be numb it's that like intensely <laughs> hoppy but there's so much orange in it like orange juice sweet tangerine that intense like pithy citrus reminds you of grapefruit like ruby red grapefruit um but yeah it's got this grassy thing this earthy kind of intense herbal is the best word or best way to put it it's just crazy how like that i'm my mouth perceives it as bitterness it's that citrus acidity just sits on your tongue um all the way to the finish as i'm talking it's still there it's not going away i don't i mean Nathan talked about IVUs and a hazy beer and how it doesn't mean shit. If this was like an old school beer, you would wonder like, is this a hundred and whatever IVUs? It's that crazy intense on your tongue. This, <laughs> this is, this is a big boy beer as far as like people who can handle hop saturation, I guess. I know people who would be offended by this. Um, I mean, this reminds me of those old school, like crazy intensely hopped IPAs that I love like I like this and I was talking shoot who was it I was talking to someone on Instagram and he was like hey you're drinking these so over the top monkish beers that now when you drink treehouse beers they're really really balanced and it seems muted that's probably what's happening monkish is just hopping the shit out of these beers and they're just so intense and so over the top that's what I like um, thankfully this doesn't have any kind of burn and I'm not getting typically with monkish beer there's like that crackery kind of white bready thing I don't know if I just can't like notice it because my tongue is just being assaulted by so many like different <laughs> between pithy citrus and bitterness and like that herb like the herbal thing I don't know if I just can't taste it but this just tastes like that it's not this is not a balanced beer um, but I don't think it's supposed to be it's a triple dry hopped double IPA it's supposed to be over the top so um, if you have cans of this, if you have extra cans of this, more than one, I would say drink one now to see what it's like. And then you could let this sit for like another month um, and kind of see where it's at <laughs> at like eight weeks. I bet you this is going to turn into this crazy, like creamy, like juice bomb. It's probably going to be fucking ridiculously mind blowing. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what people think about this when I post this. I really, really like this. This is a world class A plus beer for me. It's like in that 98 range. Um, it's not quite a hundred for me just because I think my, <laughs> it's just so over the top. If it was a little bit more balanced, but I mean, that's what a triple dry out beer is supposed to do. Um, if there was a little bit more balance and maybe like, I don't know, my tongue is just like, I've only, I mean, I've had this much of it. My tongue is almost numb. It's crazy. I love it though. It's good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go 98 on this one. Um, Craig actually sent me two of these, so I'm gonna let the other one sit for a good four or five weeks and revisit it i probably won't do a video but i'm gonna drink that yeah i'm gonna probably shit i mean sometime in august <laughs> come back to this and see what it's like but yeah this is a this is a crazy beer good good stuff so that's unfold the scroll from muckish uh, if you guys have had it leave a comment below let me know what you think as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys very soon cheers Lights, cameras, and action, glamour, glitters, and gold. I unfold the scroll, plant seeds, the stampede, the glow when I'm deceased. But in the beast, the rise like yeast, the conquer peace.